Hi, buddies. You want to come help me repot? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I figured we would do a couple repods. Well, one is just gonna be an upsize and the other one is gonna be my new plant baby. I'm gonna go ahead and get him potted up and put on a pole. I have an anthurium that desperately needs an upsize. So that's what we're gonna be doing for this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Melissa and I'm really happy you're here. And this is Chai, one of my three kitty cats. I can tell he wants cuddles, so it's gonna be one of those videos. You missed all three of them. All three of them were literally just in here. Not right now. Not right now, buddies. No, no. No, not right now. Come on, after the video. After the video, go on, go get daddy. So I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing so it's not super far away. This is my Anthurium Magnificum and Crystallinum Hybrid. This is the newest leaf, isn't that gorgeous? It is giving me a new one. This is a surprise lately. And it has several other leaves that you can see. This is so beautiful. Honestly, it's been one of the easiest anthuriums. It's been in this little pot for a while. It might be like a five inch pot, but can you see? I don't know if you can pick up all the roots that are kind of squished in here and it's kind of overflowing and it's kind of like busting out of there a little bit. But yeah, I am not gonna disturb this plant. I am just gonna lift and put in a new pot. I have a six inch that he's gonna go into and I'm just gonna re-top dress with some fresh moss. And then I'm gonna use this container cause I am out of clear pots that I need for some smaller plants. And then I am gonna pot this guy up into that container with a thickly pole. And this is my new Sorderoi I just got. This is um, the plant that I got from that online shopping order that I did. If you aren't familiar, I did like an online shopping experience with me and then we unbox the plant together. I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it, that way you can kind of see that process. But this is the new leaf, it just unfurled. That one there in the front. So that's what I was waiting on. And this plant is fully rooted, it's just in sphagnum moss, so I gotta work on getting most of that moss off of that one. So we're gonna do him last since we need the pot for this one. I'll move the camera down so you can kind of see the working space rather than me just kind of being far away. So that is the plan. We're gonna switch it up a little bit and yeah, let's get to repotting the anthurium. All right, so you guys have a view of the kitty and the anthurium here. <laughs> so for the anthurium, I have a bin of moistened moss I'm gonna to top dress. And this is my six inch pot. And then I'm gonna be using soul soils. You know, I use this all the time. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of extra Osmocote. All right, so I have some here in the bottom. And what I'm gonna do at first is just kind of loosen this root ball a little bit. And all that green is just algae growth from being one in a clear pot and then just all the highlight that this plant gets from being in my cabinet. I wish I had a little bit of a deeper pot, you know? I'm just gonna loosen this bottom a little bit just to flatten her out. I think that's good. And I'm literally just going to fill up around. That is all I'm doing for her. All right, before I fill up all the way, I'm gonna add a little bit of fertilizer. I need to order another Amazon order. I need more fertilizer. I need clear pots. And what else? There was something else that I was out of that I really needed. I actually need to order more of these thickly poles because I think I only have a couple left and I have several extensions I need to do soon. 
think that's all the soil and the rest of this I'm just going to add moss on top. And top dressing with moss just helps protect the aerial roots because these plants kind of climb up in a way. And so these new aerial roots kind of need something to cling on to. I think I'm gonna get some clear sheet protectors and put them on the edge of the pot, like going towards the middle. That way I can still add moss up on top and like, I guess continue the plant growing vertically more than wide, you know, just because of their growth pattern. And this slight upsize should not bother her one bit. I didn't really mess with her too much, you know? I didn't break apart roots or anything. All right, so this is her all done. That was going I knew that was gonna be pretty easy. You can see that fresh moss there. She's in a much larger pot, and I think she's just gonna appreciate it. So that's the pot size difference. Yeah, I will give her another day or so and then I'll water. Yeah, so I'm gonna stick her back in my cabinet and then we will do the other one. I'm gonna wash this pot out first and then I'll be back on. We are back. I washed out the pot the best I could. The bottom's still a little bit dirty, but that is okay. Really the only thing that I'm gonna do with this is just try and remove most of the moss and get it situated on the pole. I will lean you guys down again so that you can see me. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we're working with here. Look at those nice, healthy roots on that plant. Do you see that? Very, very healthy. When removing moss, I just try to be very delicate. You want the moss to be hydrated first, and I just watered this plant the other day, so it is very hydrated, because dry moss tends to be a little bit more harsh um, when you're pulling the roots off, they can break a lot easier than when it's wet. So I just gently remove anything that doesn't come off easily. I don't force it. All right, I think that is all I'm gonna do. I got a good portion of all that moss off of there and the rest of it is totally fine. I did break a little bit of roots, but honestly not too much. And again, like sphagnum moss will break down in the soil over time. So I need to make my pole real quick actually. Oh man, it all just came falling out. <laughs> this is like the worst part, is getting all this soil in here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get a new bag because this is the end of the bag and I just feel like it's just not chunky enough for me. Okay, <laughs> I have a new bag. Actually, some of this in here wasn't, wasn't bad.
Okay. I have to cover up all that dirt that spilled everywhere. So I'm gonna take her and plop her down in front with, look at all those roots. <laughs> that has so many roots. Kind of just circle the roots around the pot a little bit or around the pole. We are going to pin her this way. So you want to make sure the roots get down far enough where they can get covered by the soil. And then you want the new growth to kind of be supported against the pole. And I have some plastic wrap that I'll probably end up using, but I'm just going to pin this down for now until I can get her potted in here. All right, so this is what I have. So you can kind of see how she's on the pole. And I just have her pinned right now, but I'll probably take those pins out and put the plastic wrap. The new leaf is kind of this on this side here. But the vine is in the middle, so as long as, you know, I kind of pin the growth as she grows, she'll straighten back towards the light a little bit. She's just gonna look a little bit funny right now. That's okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna give her a drink off camera and then that'll be it for her. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I know it was a little bit chaotic. I feel like all of my repots are just chaotic and I have a huge mess to clean up. And all three babies are in here sleeping. So there's two, there's one in there, there's one in that one. And then the girl is right here. They're sleeping, they're so cute. It makes me want to go take a nap with them. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I will talk to you again very soon.